Hey guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. In this video, we are going to assess the water damage on this Samsung S21. We will start by heating up the back of the device and quickly remove the back cover. As you can see already, we have some water coming out of the device. The phone is still off, the power button does not do anything and the device was in water for a total of approximately 7 minutes. I'm going to have the link to that video in the description and you can check it right now at the top right of the screen. So the number one thing that you need to do if you have some kind of water damage in your device, you need to remove the back of the device and absolutely remove the battery cable. The first step to recovery is to remove the battery cable that will cut any current flowing inside the component. Look at how much water was inside this device. The water was entering through the camera glass. To be precise, the camera glass was replaced in the previous previous video. So the main point of entry of water was the camera glasses, all three of them, and the flashlight. Once you've removed the battery cable, you need to disconnect all other flex cable that you can see. I'm disconnecting every single flex cable that is on the motherboard of this device. This is going to prevent any residual current that may be flowing, even if we have the battery out of the equation. All the screws have been removed on the plastic covering, but I still have one screw that is very stubborn and I think it has been badly stripped. That screw is not doing anything, I used most of my tools and they are not working. So unfortunately, I had to break the in-screen earpiece plastic covering. Keep in mind that the first thing that we did was removing the battery cable. The second thing that you need to do after a water damage is to remove all the components out of the shell of the device. So to do that, we need to remove anything and find solution to any obstacle that we may find in our progress. So looking at this problem, I had only one solution that may work and preserve the integrity of the motherboard. To do that, we need to extract all the other components such as cameras and any other thing that is attached by flex cable to the motherboard first. As you can see we have water under the cameras. This shows us again that the main point of entry was the camera's glass and water had even time to flow under all the components. The cameras are soaking wet and I think the motherboard also had time to soak in water. So let me know in the comment box if you think this device can be recovered since seeing the amount of water we had extracted already out of this device and this is only the beginning. So I'm wiggling the motherboard around right and left in order to pull it out without removing that stubborn screw. The screw is not removable so this is the only way I can have the motherboard safely out of the shell of the device. So I was hoping that the end of the motherboard that had that screw is open. Like on the other side of the motherboard it is open so that's why I did try this method to remove the motherboard safely and as you can see everything went very well. The motherboard is out. As I zoom inside that area I can see some of the motherboard is a little a bit scratched but I think that won't do anything to the operation the functioning of the motherboard. Removing this piece of plastic is going to be a nightmare. I am 100% sure that the way I remove the motherboard is not going to work if I need to reinstall the motherboard. So I will have to think of something else in order to reinstall the motherboard after everything has been recovered. From my investigation the main point of entry of water was the camera glass but as we can see the loudspeaker is full of water and under the loudspeaker we have some water also so maybe the seals on the back cover also gave up and the water was entering but slowly on that area same thing as earlier we need to remove all the flex cable that are connected to the charging module after that we need to remove the charging module to assess the amount of water we have on the charging module and under the charging module and the charging module of this device is paired with the sim card module we need to remove the sim card tray to access the charging module after the sim card tray removed as you can see the sim card tray also has water on it. This is very strange. The sim card tray was on and the water should not have been in that area. Charging module out, all the components are wet. And you can see also under the charging module where the sim card module sit, we have water on that area also. So water has entered everything in the lower bottom of the device. We can't remove anything else in that area. We need to remove the battery of this device. Under the battery, we are going to see if we have water or not. So to remove the battery, I heated up the front of the device to make sure that heat goes soften the tape on the back of the battery and then I use one of my tools to insert and start pulling on the battery and after a while I use a secondary tool to help me apply more upward pressure so that the battery can start to lift itself up. While doing this battery removal, this method of battery removal, do not use any sharp metal tool because you risk to create fire if you puncture the battery. And also for a device that has 
in fingerprint sensor like this one make sure that you have into account the placement of the in fingerprint sensor this is something that i wish i knew before i did remove the battery so i did mess up something on the in fingerprint sensor while removing the battery when removing everything i was going so fast that i didn't think of that situation of the in fingerprint sensor this is something very serious you can damage your screen you can damage your fingerprint for those guys saying that you need to put alcohol to remove the battery alcohol under this battery can work but you need to be careful in the placement of the alcohol i suggest you to put the alcohol on the side of the battery and use a small amount of alcohol do not flood the battery with alcohol if you flood the battery with alcohol it can damage the in fingerprint sensor or find its way between the screen and the digitizer and at that point the screen is no longer good to see the next step that you need to take after you've removed everything click on the video next same thing already happened with the Xiaomi device and we did recover that smartphone. 